All new at 10, you can save a few bucks and shop tax-free this weekend. The tax-free weekend starts tomorrow and runs through Sunday. But if one Texas organization gets its way, there's one store you won't be spending money at. A report revealed Macy's opposed the passage of a law that would have made it easier for women to sue employers over wage discrimination. Here's KITV's Melanie Lofton. Just in time for tax-free back-to-school shopping, a controversy hangs over a popular store. We don't want to have to boycott Macy's. But that's exactly what Ed Espinosa is calling for. We expect more from a retailer like this. It's all about the Equal Pay Act. The Texas legislature passed it. Governor Perry vetoed it, and he had support. Macy's, Kroger, and some other retailers had signed a letter to Governor Perry asking him to veto the Equal Pay Law. Perry says the law duplicated a federal law. Espinosa disagrees. But for Worth Court of Appeals and the Texas Supreme Court have both ruled that the federal court, uh, that the federal law is not enough. The news is surprising to Pat Clark. I'm really stunned that a company with the kind of national standing that Macy Macy has would, uh, would would stoop so low in some ways. So extremely disappointed. It's even turned off potential customer Jamie Reeves. Seems like if a company is putting pressure on politicians to stop that, then it's not a company that I want to support. Even State Senator Sylvia Garcia and State Representative Sinfronia Thompson have taken a stand, canceling appearances at Macy's events. But is the controversy enough to stop customers from shopping? Are you a Macy's shopper? It used to be. <laughs> now, when did that change? Uh, probably right now. <laughs> That was Melanie Lofton reporting. Espinosa says to rectify this, Macy simply can admit they made a mistake in signing on to that letter and come out in support of equal pay. As for Macy's tonight, the company has not responded to our request for an interview.